The crisis in Ukraine has brought back some uh, memories, interesting memories of the Cold War and the fears of nuclear winter, nuclear war. The relics of that era are still very much around us. Steve Nielsen brings us a rare look inside the state's Cold War history and a look back at why we might be the most prepared state for a nuclear emergency. At the height of the Cold War, this was an incredibly important structure. The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, Phoenix City Councilors, would run behind this blast door here to stay safe and keep the government running. From the top of the butte, it's just a doorway, but down below, it's history. It's literally built into the side of Papago Butte. Ron Coleman with the Maricopa County Department of Emergency gave us a tour of the 1950s fallout shelter and the remnants left behind. The original bandages and supplies are still here. Gas masks, World War II era cots. Cases of the original emergency drinking water. And a bleak reality of surviving nuclear fallout. If water ran out or depending on the number of people you had down here, this was a portable toilet. Now this is where county and city government would run things during the Cold War if the bomb dropped. Coleman says there's renewed public interest in retirement hired fallout shelters after Russia's president declared a nuclear alert amid the war in Ukraine. Coleman's advice for everyone is the same as the risk for floods or wildfires. But what we tell people to do is be prepared. Have that go bag ready. Um, have your prescriptions, have your papers, have those ready that if you needed to evacuate, you'd have a plan and you'd be able to do so. And this piece of history has actually been transformed into the county emergency offices now. Coleman says their team is more prepared for nuclear fallout than most. The train specifically for radiological fallout situations. It's thanks to the Palo Verde nuclear generating station. Having America's largest plant in our state means teams prepare for worst case scenarios. So if there were to be a situation, we can monitor folks' radiation doses, monitor what's happening to them, uh, and take the action to get them shelter and to keep people safe. Okay, so let's say there actually is a nuclear fallout in the Phoenix area. What should you do if that happens? Don't come here to the Papago Buttes. This isn't the place to go. What you should do, check your phone. Check local TV like Fox 10. Check local radio. That's where you'll get your best guidance. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.